you know, that feeling when you're drinking something and it goes down the wrong pipe, there should be a name for that. Um, in my house, we call it glurping because it's kind of a combination between gulping and burping. It is super uncomfortable. And when you are dealing with it, you can't talk to somebody, you can't concentrate on something else because you're trying to recover your airway and get back to baseline. I want to make an analogy here with obstructive sleep apnea. So stay with me until the end, because this is all going to wrap up together. Now, there's two problems with obstructive sleep apnea. One is that your sleep is interrupted. You can't do the brain processes necessary for recovery and res restoration because you're blocking your airway and your blood oxygen levels are going down with obstructive sleep apnea. So this low oxygen level is hard on your brain. Your brain is uh, not happy when the oxygen levels are low and brain is not happy because it can't sleep and do the important processes it needs to do. There are different levels of severity of obstructive sleep apnea. If you have less than five airway obstructions per hour of sleep time, you're normal. A few airway obstructions is not that big of a deal. And I wouldn't chase that with, you know, big treatment choices. But if your apnea hypopnea index or AHI is 10, that's mild sleep apnea. And what it means is that on average, you're having one airway obstruction, often with uh, awakening, often with dropping your blood oxygen levels every six minutes on average for the entire night. If you have an AHI of 20, mo moderate sleep apnea, it means you have one airway obstruction every three minutes on average for the entire night. Similarly, AHI of 30 means one airway obstruction every other minute on average for the entire night. And AHI of 60 is one airway obstruction every minute of sleep for the entire night. Now, imagine if you're going about your day, you're at work, you need to get some projects done, and for the next seven hours, you have glurping every six minutes. You won't be having a productive day. You would be going to the emergency room to figure out what is going on and how can I get this treated as soon as possible. Sleep apnea is a breathing disorder. You do not want to leave your breathing disorder untreated. You're glurping throughout the night. Please, whether it's CPAP, oral appliance therapy, surgery, or some other treatment, get it treated. Don't glurp all night long.